Hello. Welcome to the Rick Williams Show. A new show to talk about us as people. Everyday life, I experience our ups and downs, the things that's happening in the world, the things that's happening around us, the things that happen is, that's happening in our families. I come into you as a brand new person that want to have a talk show to talk about things that we talk about among ourselves, but don't share to help others deal with. So first thing I'm going to do on this episode, we're going to talk about me from my upbringing to where I am today. So let me tell you, I'm Rick Williams, your host for the Rick Williams show. I'm a native Detroiter, 67 years of age, and I'm grateful that through the trials and tribulations, the ups and downs of life, I made it to 67. But it wasn't no easy pack task. We all face obstacles in life. Fortunately enough that I come from an air of a neighborhood not the neighbor, the neighborhood, not the hood. So we went from the neighborhood to the hood. Now we don't even have the hood. We have no unity among each other. It don't matter what color you are, what race you are, but we as people have to come together to help one another. We live in a society that is moving fast. Get, get, get any means necessary. Why can't we as people reach and help one another? I grew up as a native Detroiter from the east side of the city of Detroit. And I've seen a lot of changes over the years. But I can remember as a kid, we had love around us. We looked out for one another. We helped one another. We was poor. The people in the neighborhood was poor, but we never knew it because we made the best out of whatever we had. And we all fantasized at one day that we was going to rise up from where we came to be a better than where we come. We did it. Some did it. Some didn't. But we helped one another. Do you remember sitting on the front porch? Three or four of you, five or six of us sitting on the porch talking about what we want to grow up and be. And if I make it, I'm going to help you. If you make it, you're going to help me. You remember that? What happened to that today? First thing, it ain't no more front porch. You sit in the front yard on a, a sofa or a bunch of milk crates or whatever, or sit on a curb. What happened to unity in the community? I'm just so old fashioned. I remember not having nothing, but felt like you had everything. And I'm hurt to see right here in our own community, that's no more. I'm hurt to watch our young kids lose their lives, lose their freedom for dumb, stupid things. Instant gratification. You want everything right now. You don't want to work for nothing. It ain't the way of the world. That ain't the way of the world. As I go back and forth to talk about the way it is now, I still going to tell you a little bit about from where I came. I was a kid, nine, 10 years old. I worked in the neighborhood mom and pop store. 
And the store owner taught me how to grow and be something. Taught me the value of a dollar. The old phrase that old folks make, say, make, 50, make a dollar, save 50 cent. God blessed the child that got his own. We didn't steal from one another. We didn't break in everybody's house. So when they leave and go to work, they break in your house and come back. Do you see anything? No. But you got all the televisions and computers or whatever in your house and you laughing. But karma, karma, do wrong. It's going to catch up with you or somebody you love or somebody close to you. But when you do good, it catch up with you, too, because good come back. Today, where's that same love for your neighbor? Where's the same love for your neighbor? Listen, people, listen. I'm glad that I have this platform that I have chose to speak up and hope that we can change one another for the better. I came up. I did not finish school. I did not finish school. I was dyslexic. Had a problem with comprehension, reading, spelling. So they pushed me back and back. They put me in the classes of misfits. They put me with the misfits. Why? I don't know. They didn't take time to see where I was weak at. Oh, today? Yes. I have a bad feeling for public schools because I feel like I got cheated. But thank God for Mother Wit. And that's the old for folks that taught you right from wrong. That's the old folks that told you things that make you better today. I went on through life and did good. I worked my butt off. I worked 32 years in the industry. Worked 32 years and I retired. I made it. No, I didn't work in the factory. No, I didn't work on the line. But I worked hard and I got a pension. I got health care. I'm 67 years old and now I can live off the fruit of my labor. And I thank God for it. Yes, I'm proud to take this platform to say, this is the Rick Williams Show. I'm your host, Rick Williams. Because Rick Williams wanna tell you, it may be bad, but it ain't over. You may be down, but you ain't out. Rick Williams wanna tell you that I made it with the best that I had. I probably could have done better, but I done what God wanted me to do. Sometimes we think we should do better, we should have better, but everything is not for us to have. But if you don't do nothing, you can't expect nothing. What's greater than zero? Anything. So in order for you to have something greater than zero, you got to apply yourself to get something. And I understand that we today see more mental people, capacity of people with mental issues, homeless people. It used to be single parents raising kids. They still here but we got just as many no parents raising kids. When I say no parents, nobody around. 
Mama put a roof over your head, barely can pay the rent. But she gone all the time. Daddy gone all the time. I mean, he locked up or either got killed. Unfortunately. But that don't make you have to walk the same path. All of us have a gift. Use your gift to make something out of yourself. Yes, they held me back. They did not even take time to find out how to help me with my dyslexic. Not to be able to read. Speech impaired. And all of the things that make you feel bad today. But I didn't give up. And I'm speaking to all of us. Don't give up. No matter what disability you have, use it for a tool to be better at what you do. I'm proud of what I'm doing today. I'm proud that I made I wish I would have made it to show business. I wish I would have did this. But I'm done something. I did not become a zero. I'm going to be a hero. So I'm speaking to you. What are you going to do? Why didn't we think like this? Growing up, sitting on the front porch, we want to do this, we want to be this. If I was good in math, you was good in English, and you was good in this, why didn't we switch off and help one another? Because everybody got a weak point somewhere. That weak point may be my good point. So why don't I take my good point and share it with your weak point? You take your good point and share it with my weak point, and we all become greater. I don't do a lot of surfing the internet and listen to this and do that and do this. But I hear things, and I can't speak to you about things as I really did my research and know that is the truth. So much stuff is fabricated out here. You don't know what's the truth and what's not the truth. But you can correct me on this. I heard things about LeBron James coming up out of Akron, Ohio. And the guys that he growed up with or the guys that was in school with him or whoever these guys or these people are. That when he went and become an NBA player and he started business, he started this, and all the friends that he had, whatever field they went through, he brought them into the circle of his dynasty. So they became successful in their field. He came successful in basketball. See? See how it works? We got talent walking the streets right here in Michigan, right here in the city of Detroit, talent. But it's nowhere to go to explore your talent. And the other thing is, why? Why is we so greedy that if I found you had a talent and I want you to sign with my record company, but I'm taking everything you get? Why? Why? You doing all the work. I just got a couple machines or, or whatever. And I'm cutting your record. But why do I have to have the masters? Why do I have to have this? Why can't I get my percentage for doing what I'm doing to get you exposed, to get you out there and be grateful? Because I can open the door for you and then I can open the door for somebody else. If I got 10 percent from you and 10 percent from them and 10 percent from them, sooner or later I got 100 percent with 10 people. But yet and still, you got all of what you worked hard for. Why can't we be like that? Why do we need to be greedy? I just ask, what you do is your business. But if I had the opportunity and had the money, I would do something to help the less fortunate like we were coming up. Born in the city of Detroit, we did not have the opportunity for organized sports. We did not have the boys and girl club like some cities do. And if we had it, 
we were so poor in that certain area of the city that we weren't exposed to the YMCA or the Boys and Girls Club or the softball city where the D's played or what this played or whatever, the things that was privileged to the ones with money. Or our parents didn't know how to find out to get us to places where you could get organized sports, where you can learn how to play this way. It's a loss of Michael Jordans. It's a loss of LeBron James and Steph Curry's in the streets playing on old basketball courts. Great football players out here, but they could not get through. Nobody never know how good a talent they had because they could not even get through school to show their talent because they was kicked back. Why? Why? The NFL, the NBA, the national best, um, the national baseball, whatever, should have tryouts for everyday people. The scouts go around, they may hear about somebody in the hood that's really good, but you should have someone. Maybe you may not make it to the major league, but you may be good enough to play on that minor league that they make money off of just as well. You can take them from the streets. You can take them from the streets. They can make sixty or seventy thousand dollars a year with organized sports, musicians. Why didn't somebody teach us how to use a camera? Because the person behind the camera is just important as the person in front of the camera. That cameraman that caught that shot of Michael Jordan becoming Air Jordan, he's just as famous as Michael Jordan because he got that shot that made him a billionaire right along with his talent. But be, that's how he became Air Jordan. Why do we have to get rich off the poor? We spend more money than anybody and ain't got none. Because we get $5, we want to spend 20. We always digging a hole for ourselves because nobody never taught us. I mean, we never had. So when we get something, an opportunity to buy something, we want bigger than what we can afford. Oh, life was hard for me. Life was hard for me. But I want to keep on doing this. I want to keep on doing this. I'm going to have an episode. I'm going to have guests on this show. Everyday people, people with names, household names. Because it's time for us to step up, speak up. You can find me anytime. I'm over here at God is Real Ministry Church at 20833 Southfield Road, Suite 200. Right at Southfield and 8 Mile. That's God is Real Ministry, 20833 Southfield Road, Southfield, Michigan, 48075, Suite 200. Look me up. You can email me at stepup 2024rw at gmail.com. That's stepup, S T E P. UP 2024RW at gmail.com. So look me up. Let's hear what you got to say about what I'm trying to say and making a difference. I don't have no money, but I will 
save, I would give up $1,000 if I could get somebody that got money, an athlete, businessman, an organization, a company, to give $10,000 to my $1,000 and invest in a place that we can buy, that we can start our own. We got talent. So we can give the people here in this community, around Michigan, right here in Michigan, to be in the contest, to show their talent, to bring out their talent. I heard Stephen A. Smith, Smith on ESPN talk about the NBA All-Star game was so terrible this year. The slam dunk was so terrible this year that they thinking about going around the country having a contest to find the best slam dunk to come into the next NBA All-Star game to have a slam dunk contest against the best slam dunk person in the country against the NBA. Why can't we do something where they can be here to try out? Stop going to jail. Stop running from the law and become the law. The sheriff department, the police department, the Michigan State Troopers, they all looking for people. You are graduated from school, 18, 19 years old, with no record in a high school diploma, GED, apply for the job. Stop running from the police and become the police. Do you know what's the best job out here, the best kept secret? Working for the railroad. All the people that work for the railroad is getting old and retiring. They're going to retire and they need new people. That is the best kept secret, but one of the best jobs you could have. Look into it. Everybody don't need to work at Ford Chrysler GM. Everybody don't need to work for Blue Cross Blue Shield. Everybody don't need to work for Amazon. You ain't got to always work for this company and this company because everybody else go. Go where everybody else ain't going, but go to work. Go to work. Make something out of yourself. When you go into the bank, which we don't have to do as much as we did when we was coming up, you can go in the bank and look at the camera because everything you got, you work for. That's a good feeling. That's a great feeling. So I tell you, look me up. I tell you, I'm right over here in Southfield, Michigan at 20833 Southfield Road on the service, service drive of Southfield, Suite 200, Southfield, Michigan, 48075. And you can reach me at Gmail. That's Step Up, S-T-E-P-U-P, 2024, R-W, at gmail.com. Chat, send me something. Let me know what topic you like to talk about. Reach out for me. Come back, God is Real Church, and tell me what's on your mind. Because I want to continue to have episodes with topics that we need to address. It's things that need to change. And we can the ones can change it if we speak up. And I want to say this before I close. If black lives matter, then why are we killing everybody, killing each other? Why it don't matter to us? Why? It only matters when a white man, a white police officer kill, but yet and still we shoot and kill each other, rob each other. It don't matter. It's time to love more than to hate more. It's time to reach up 
reach one, touch one. Reach back, grab one, bring them up. It's half time for us to come out and show that we care about the ones. Stop being what everybody say we are. We not the crabs in the barrel, we not. But if we don't do anything, yes, we are the crabs in the barrel. So I am Rick Williams of the Rick Williams Show. Just want to speak up about change. It's time for us to step up and make a difference. It's time. Just, just a little platform. I'm a nobody today, but I'm hope I'm a hero tomorrow because I care. Somebody told me something, somebody helped me, even when I didn't have nothing. So stop keeping all the family secrets in the house. Things happen, things happen, but don't let us grow up with family secrets that we don't never know the truth that hurts us, cripple us. Things happen, the child should not suffer for whatever the parents did or whatever happened in the family. All family got secrets. But it's time to just tell the truth and move on. It would help that child from having a nervous breakdown, from being depressed, mentally disturbed. Help bring joy. Help it. You must have patience, calm, to endure the blessings that God gave you. Patience and be calm so you can endure, endure, enjoy, and endure, endure the things that God. See, I told you, didn't go to school. Get tired tongue sometimes, but I didn't give up. Patience, calm, so you can endure the blessings that God has for you. God gave you a blessing at birth. So remember, I'm Rick Williams on the Rick Williams Show. This is my first episode. Watch it. Click on, subscribe, hit the like button. You'll find me on Roku, Apple TV, and YouTube. I look for you to join me again right here on Rick Williams Rick Williams Show. I am Rick Williams. Don't forget, you can find me at 20833 Southfield Road, Southfield, Michigan, Suite 200, Southfield, Michigan, 48075. Or you can reach me at Step Up, S T E P U P 2024 RW at gmail.com. It has been a pleasure to speak to you today. And I'm looking forward to speaking to you again. Spread the word, hit the like button, subscribe to the Rick Williams Show. And we will do this again. Let me know what topic you want to talk about so we can come together and do it. I take to you and I challenge you. I got a thousand. Somebody got 10? Let's build a foundation to make a change. Thank you so much and God bless you all.